Well, Andy, we're used to seeing you being on the pitch and uh, scoring goals for whichever teams you've been playing for, but now you're in a new role, aren't you? Coach here at Brislington and a big cut side coming up on Sunday. Uh, yeah, I um, basically, I, during non-season, I normally go out and play for a team non-season. Um, but every time I've done that, I've got myself injured and ended up in a boot or something. Um, and I know Brislington really, really well. I've, I've worked with them for a few years since I've been up here. And um, rather than me actually playing for anyone, I decided just to help them in terms of managing, coaching and stuff like that. Uh, but they're fantastic girls, you know. They're on a great FA Cup run at the moment. They're doing really well in the league as well. How different is it from playing? It's, it's, it's frustrating because as a player you always want to get on there and you always want to do it because the best way to do it is actually get on and do it yourself. Um, but the girls are actually fantastic, you know. Every time I ask of them to do something they always produce something. Um, so it's always good to work with girls that actually come out and do something that you ask of them. You know, if you're telling them to do something and they don't do it, that's the, the frustrating part. But these girls are actually really good. You know, everything I've taught them they've actually taken into games and done really well. And you're coaching a team at the moment with a fantastic record, haven't they? Never have been beaten in a, a league game since they were formed, so no pressure there on you, is there? Uh, to be <laughs> honest, I mean, they've, they've grown up since they were like under 11, so they've worked as a team together in all age groups. You know, and now they're in seniors. It's not me that's done that, that's them themselves. I'm just helping to top them up and help them on their way, give them a little bit of help, a little bit of uh, instruction, motivation, stuff like that. But no, they've done really well. They're not silly. They understand that you know a winning run is going to come to an end sooner or later. But it's not something that they're feared of. It you know they're happy to go out on the pitch, do their best, um, and yeah, it's, it's 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 horrible being a team that they always say, oh, you know you're unbeaten because there's that extra pressure. But for these girls, they just enjoy playing football. If they lose, they lose. But it's going to be a hard job for any team to go in and actually walk over them. But this Sunday, playing at Exeter, it's at James's Park, a football league ground, FA Cup first one. What a great experience for the girls. Oh, it is. I mean, they were, uh, to be fair, when we played Shanklin in the last one, everyone was kind of saying that they were, you know, the girls were going to get beat and walked over and stuff like that. And, you know, you've got to take the, your hat off to the girls. They went out, they'd done a fantastic job. They battled, they worked well, you know, and to be underdogs and to come out of a great result, you know, they're very confident at the moment, you know, and they're going to go into Exeter. They're not going to have any pressures of win, lose, draw, what. They're going to go in, they're going to do all the separate little things that they've been taught, and hopefully that will take them into another winning point and they'll go into the next round. Um, but the girls deserve it. They've worked hard. You know, as soon as I came in, I said to them, what do you want to focus on? And they said FA Cup and getting promoted. Um, but, you know, they're doing really well. There's no pressure to them. They're still learning, they're still young, and you know that's the main focus for them. You know, three, four years down the line, then say, yeah, okay, we want to see you in the <laughs> high levels of FA Cup. But at the moment, they're you know they're loving the experience and they're doing really well in the FA Cup run. Now just to talk about the Shanklin game, the magnitude of that win. Shanklin were the only team in any game to beat Yeovil Town last season. Yeovil Town went on, won the combination, and they're going well in the Premier League now. And Brislington have beaten Shanklin, so it just goes to prove what a great result that was. It was, it's fantastic. I mean, you've got to give the credit to the girls, they've worked hard, you know, no disrespect to, to Yeovil, but, you know, I think when you're an underdog, you've got, not, you've got nothing to lose. You know, so you go out there and you produce what you can on the day. And, you know, Brislington, being the underdogs, they wanted it. You know, they went out there and there was a few girls on, on the Shanklin team saying, look, they want it more than we do, you know, and that, that was perfect. Like, that's exactly how it went. And um, for them, that, that's good. That's just going to give them more of a G up and more confidence. The more confident these girls get, the better they get. Um, but, yeah, you know, they had a little <laughs> bit more on the day. And as for Sunday, obviously you can't give me your game plan, but uh, any advice you could give to them for, for a game of this night? Um Enjoy the moment. You know, it's not every day, every day that, you know, girls at this age, new formed team over the last two years, that get into the first round of the FA Cup. You know, they've experienced something for the first ever time. So it's just to enjoy it and just, you know, we've got nothing to lose. You know, go out, do what we do best, stop them from playing and enjoy it. And as for you personally, the FA Cups have been really good to you over the years. You've got winner's medal, runner's up medals. If you can put it off on Sunday, would they rank up alongside that? Uh, yeah, it will. I mean, to be honest, the, the girls mean a hell of a lot to me. I've worked with them for the last two, three years. 
you know, and every time I say, even the Shanklin game, you know, I said to him, be proud because we are proud as well. You know, I wouldn't go all the way to the Isle of Wight if I didn't believe in them or I wasn't proud of them. So if they go out on Sunday, I'll still be proud of them because they've got themselves there in the first place. But I know the girls are going to give everything they've got. They're going to give 150% when they're there. You know, so I'm already proud. Okay, so if they do the job, I, you know, that's just, that's topped it off. But they're a fantastic team and I'm sure they'll do a job. Okay, that's great. Best of luck on Sunny and Annie, we hope you do well. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Cheers.